let's find out what they're thinking about you. We're gonna use the witch, uh, modern witch tarot deck. Haven't used this in a bit. I'm going through all my decks so that I can see if I need a new deck or I can just, you know, use what I have. I haven't, whatever I haven't used in a while. So this is the modern witch tarot. Let's just put it, I guess, here. I guess you can see it there. All right. Um, for those who are interested in this deck, I'm going to have uh, tried to add the link from the TikTok shop. Maybe they have it. Hopefully they do. Okay. So let's see. What is your person thinking about you? What are they thinking about you? What is your person thinking about you? have the eight of swords they're in their head about you um they feel like they can't escape you no matter what they do to try to move on they can't stop thinking about you they're definitely trying to move on they're trying to force um a situation they're trying to force to f as, um the feeling of forgetting you that's what i'm getting with the chariot they're trying to force uh, a situation and trying to force the feeling of forgetting you um is someone that's extremely passionate about you you have the knight of cups they really really uh wanted to ask you out unless they already did and you rejected them maybe hence why they're really trying really hard to forget you they feel stuck with you or stuck thinking about you we have the page of wands definitely uh communication the nine of pentacles they wanted to communicate with you but it seems that you're having a good time by yourself <laughs> they look at you and they look how independent you are how happy you are they don't think you need them in your in your life and so that's why they're trying really hard um to hold back from like either um, speaking their feelings to you, maybe they never uh, realized that they felt this way, or um, just coming to you. They have like an urgency to see you. Uh, and this urgency is coming from, from a passionate feeling. Um, but for some reason, they feel that you're doing too well on your own. Uh, maybe you have been focusing on yourself, on your glow up, on your finances. Nine of Pentacles is someone who is single who while they're ready to mingle they're not ready to settle down with anyone because they don't need anyone and at this time i feel that you're in your enjoying your singlehood you're enjoying the money or the um easy life let's see what are they thinking about you they think <laughs> they think you're the empress they miss your body they miss your curves hmm they're thinking of how sweet you were to them, how kind, how nurturing. They miss um, touching you. They felt that you have the softest body. If they were able to touch you before, this is the person that misses even touching you, sitting next to you, um, watching TV together, spending time together. King of Pentacles. <laughs> King of Pentacles doesn't want to show their face. Um, this is someone that has it all together themselves. They have good finances. This is someone that's doing well for themselves. They might be um, the owner of a business. Um, they're very stable financially, but they're lonely. Look at this face. This is a lonely person. Um, it's almost like they have everything they want plus more. This is someone who wears designer shoes. I never noticed these shoes, but I feel like they would wear something like Laurel Pianas, right? Something really expensive that you can't really tell unless you know about the brand. Uh, this is someone that usually uh, has a high quality of life financially. Uh, they're also marriage material. This is um, husband material, okay? Or whatever wifey material but i'm getting more of a male 
Um, but they're also very stubborn. Uh, this is someone that's stuck in their ways, in a way. Um, they may be very kind uh, with sharing their wealth, but they may have stuck mentality when it comes to love and affection. And you represent someone that's different from what they're used to. This may be a mixed uh, couple, like a racially mixed couple. Um, you guys come off as a power couple to the people who can recognize the value in both of you together and individually. But at the same time, you cause a lot of commotion and you disrupt the, the peace of other people in some way without even being involved with other people. You just disrupt other people's perception of what a couple should be. And so even if you're both single at this time, other people want to be with you, you know. And so if you were to be together, it would be a tough relationship to defend all the time. And that's regardless of the racial thing. I feel like it will be a tough relationship to defend. And when I say defend, like you would have to stand up for each other a lot. So it takes a lot of work. And I don't know if you, you or this person is in the right state of mind to having to defend themselves and their partner all the time. You know, it takes a special type of person to do that special type of couple you have to be very sure of yourselves in your love and in the connection that you have in order to the having to defend you both all the time because i feel like if it was the female um or the divine feminine in this case she would be accused of um being with the other person for their money right to be in a gold digger um, regardless of how much money she herself has and her status financially, right? And if it was the male, he may be accused of something nefarious, right? So it's like whether it must be something real big different about the two of you that allows others to make um, unfounded accusations, perceptions, um opinions about the two of you right and so this would be one of those relationship that is giving me like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry right and look at him he just happens to look like he's a ginger um it just one of those things that regardless of the racial part it just might just be the the taboos that you two represent whatever that is right but in the same token you guys are a royal couple what I would consider a royal couple meaning that you coming together will make changes in the world and it would help the collective in some way so it would be a blessing and at the same time nothing this good comes without um, the struggles right uh, competition I heard competition and also people wanting to separate you like they would it sounds crazy, but they would take it up on themselves, a mission of, oh, they shouldn't be together, you know? Wow. Mm. This is heavy. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Uh, some of you guys may be uh, Earth signs, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, someone here may be a Libra, Taurus. Uh, Aries, Sag, Leo, and also Earth, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see, what is your person thinking about you right now? What are they thinking? They're missing you, missing you terribly. This is someone that if you have social media, they're definitely looking at your social media. Uh, they're looking at your pictures especially if you're traveling or posting things of your travels of you know having a good time in places um even if you're going solo on vacation and little trips and things like that this is someone that's definitely checking you out looking at your looking glorious that's what i just heard looking looking at you in your glory that's what i heard uh you're looking fabulous glorious you're enjoying yourself you took a mental break um whether that is from separating from them or just from life in general. 
So they're really looking at your growth. They're looking at your, um, I, I keep hearing mental health. So maybe you had to do this. You had to take that break, whether it was just from them emotionally or from a job or life in general being tough on you, you know? What is this person thinking about you right now? Wow. There's a lot of things that they're dealing with. Um, again, and this may have to do with your romance or not, but they're dealing with a lot of um, attacks, I feel. Like they're constantly getting attacked. They're getting criticized. This could be at work. Uh, this may be someone that's going through a rough patch right now at their job, at their business. They may be the boss, like I said before, and they may be dealing with employees who are disgruntled. Or something happened recently where they felt attacked or they've had to deal with uh, a situation that has been tough on them. Now, if it, this is romantic, then definitely they're dealing with... I just heard the one that got away. Um, they feel like they let you get away, allowing the compet competitive people or negative and the nuances of your connection get in the way of the two of you so they feel like you're the one that got away so watching you in your glory like i heard before watching you enjoy yourself be in a better mental state um is you know making them feel like they lost you forever sort of thing so they're a bit dramatic a little dramatic <laughs> um because maybe you are uh, uh, ready to listen to them or you are you would allow them in your life. I mean, this is depending on what you are thinking about this person as well. And just let me know in the comments if this makes sense, if this resonates for you. Let's see, what is your person thinking about you? You have the King of Swords. Um, they may feel that you're already dating someone. Uh, they might have. I, I almost want to say that they heard that someone said you're dating some a coworker or you're dating your boss if you're in another location or things like that, or they because this is communication and it's coming from another uh, authority figure, so like the boss or someone who also owns business. So there might be like a conflict of interest. I heard for for this connection for you guys. We didn't even get to shuffle, but these fell out. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful. This person is thinking of um, offering you something solid, concrete, and huge. They want to offer you uh, either commitment, because the Ace of Pentacles can be a diamond ring. It can be something um very big right and nice and and worth it something expensive right and it is because they feel that you are their um i just heard lucky charm okay uh, maybe you guys do business together um because they feel you're part of their life uh, you belong together uh you're you're meant to be together now i don't know how willing you are to um take this from this person because i feel like right now you feel like you're on top of the world right now and oh look i didn't even notice this part you're on top of the world you're finally free from the binds that um this connection brought to you now this didn't have to be the actual person that brought you the, uh, the issues but that like i said before all the people around you guys all the oppositions and the competitors and, and the nastiness the negative the naysayers right you're finally free of that and i feel like you're enjoying yourself like i said before traveling in doing your thing but i feel that the person believes that already believes that you don't need them right now and because of that they want to make a big impact when they come your way they don't just want to come empty handed this is someone that knows the value of money like i said before and it's not that they would buy you with money but they also know the value of you you are a valuable asset in their life. Besides a romantic asset, you're also a financial asset in some aspect. So that's why I'm wondering if you guys used to work together where they recognize that you brought um, a financial uh, value to them. Maybe you were just simply their lucky charm, like I said before. 
but if you were doing business together or work together they understand your value they know what you're that you're good or great at your job or what you offer to the relationship in a uh, standpoint of money okay because this person is you know very well off with money or they understand money the power of money and things like that while they're very passionate about you the passion is heavy here they also are the type of person that their love language is more about maybe gifts or if they were not very giving before uh, it was because they were not in their um, best I want to say their best state of mind because they are of money they bring money or finances lifestyle luxury right so for them not to have given you that was the opposite of who they are so they were definitely not in their best place before and now i feel like they've healed that part of themselves and i feel that you've made them heal that without possibly even knowing just by simply staying away and showing them that you're worth whatever they have plus more that you shouldn't have to ask for this you deserve it and it should have been offered to you from day one that's the main of what i'm getting for this reading so believe me, this person understands your value. I feel like maybe you have transformed in some way. Um, so this could be part of that glow up where before you weren't understanding of your own value, you know, in the loving yourself section where you didn't understand how valuable or how much you brought to the relationship, to the connection. And in you understanding that and taking care of yourself, loving yourself, doing more for you, being more selfish. In doing that, um, I heard mirror. In some way, that reflects into the way that they're going to react to you right now. The way that they're coming at you. They're not coming with no flimsy, flimsy offer. They're coming with a strong offer. This is what you would want from them plus more. It's not coming. It's not going to be cheap. See? Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. I feel like before they left you out on the cold. I feel like before they didn't offer you anything worth your time they were really cheapening you relationship they were cheap they were making you feel like you didn't deserve anything and right now this is gone this 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 them is gone gone why because they struggle because they they're butt hurt right now they're hurt that you don't look their way that you've never looked back maybe it only took once for you to be mistreated for you to never look back right and so they're stuck in that oh my god this person is really has their walls up they will not allow me to talk to them i'm not allowed in their circle anymore and maybe because of that uh now they understand that you're worth the hard work you're worth putting in the work and now i see that they're looking to put in all of the work this is someone that has been working hard on themselves to get to a better position mentally and emotionally they have been hyper focused on work itself and on working on themselves. So this is not someone that's coming with, like I said, empty hand or a flimsy um, offer. This is someone that has worked on on this offer. Someone that has gone through a tower moment. I feel like they either lost it all or they lost it all when you left. When you are no longer there, um, they lost their shit. They could easily just reacted in this way once you guys had the last argument or whatever or it's simply their world came down with your departure okay and so because of that uh they have healed they're more about understanding that they are also a value and an asset in a relationship because i don't think that they love themselves a lot when they were with you and so your energies clashed in a way right um maybe they were in just uh providing sexual um passion towards you and not opening their hearts to you and if that's the case i feel like now their heart is finally open and it's overflowing with love which is what you wanted out of the whole thing but because they are so aware of how much they lacked once when you guys were together I feel like they're not only offering you their heart, which is full, overflowing, by the way. 
The Ace of Cups is huge. It's overflowing love and affection and ready to cry it out with you. This is someone that probably could never cry in front of you, never showed emotion. They were probably quite cold, um, hyperly focused on what their finances uh, portray, right? But this time around, they're coming with their heart in their hand. They're ready to give it to you, to give you their heart. And their heart is full of emotions. It's huge. This is a huge step for this person. It's something that had to take a tower moment in order for it to come out. They had to be destroyed. <laughs> they had to be brought down from their high tower where they thought they were in order for them to see your value. Okay, they had to lose that ego. It had to be blasted. And I feel that you are that person. You were that divine feminine, that empress. It took an empress to bring down this tower. And that's because you allowed yourself to become the empress. You became all four queens in order for your spiritual growth to kick in and blast their ego into smithereens. This is crazy. I'm getting like the picture of a movie when that happens, right? And so you literally broke the ice on this King of Pentacles cold, cold heart. So much so that you finally got the love out of their heart that they didn't give to anyone. I don't think this person ever truly loved anyone before. Even if they had prior relationships. I don't think they ever loved anyone enough. I feel like this person had mummy issues. Maybe their mother wasn't a very loving mother. Maybe their parents separated and divorced when they were quite young. So they didn't understand the meaning of staying together with someone. Okay, not to blame anyone. And not to feel too sorry for them, right? Because they are an adult. But this did hinder their their relationships. Okay, what happens to them when they were younger? Mm. Mm. and so it had to be you to be the one <laughs> that brought this out of them again that practically grew this grew out of their heart that wasn't there i feel like this person lost a big chunk of their love life once either their parents separated or something drastic happened in their life when they were quite young and so you help them heal and you help them um break the colder exterior that they had towards you and others you weren't the only one that experienced this with this person but you were the one that was meant to bring them out of seclusion and and the coldness that they're portrayed and gave to everyone else so you are winning here whether you decide to accept this person or not you're winning hard you're winning huge huge amounts of respect and love of course um, so if you felt, ever felt disrespected by this person, just know that that's over. And if you decide to accept them in your life, at least the person that I'm seeing here, if this resonates with you, only if it does, then it's okay to give them a chance if you still have love for them and you want to try one more time, I guess. Anyways, I hope this made sense. This is a, quite a beautiful reading. It's very nice. I love this reading. I really, oh, look at that. What is that? Is that the Two of Cups? <laughs> this is so cute. So you literally have the beginning of your relationship into the Two of Cups. Isn't that lovely? This is a soulmate. This is a twin flame. For those of you that believe in twin flame relationships. Um, this is the love of your life. It's up to you to allow this person in. If you choose so. Because no one can tell you what to do. But anyways. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you so many blessings. If you like this reading, um, remember to like the video because it helps me. And leave me those beautiful comments. And follow me if you're not. And if you think that this resonates with you so greatly. And you would like a personal reading. A private personal reading. Definitely um, reach out to me. My information is linked to this video. Whether that is in the TikTok bio. Or on the YouTube uh, description box below. Take care. Ciao.